look pretty. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, and no, sir. No, ma'am, and no, sir. That's definitely not my code. But I had to stop you, girl, because you were so damn fine. I know you're with. Hey, Brit Beauties, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you see by the title, today I will be doing another makeup tutorial, but with this one, it will be with Strictly Dollar Store Makeup. So I went to the dollar store the other day and I got a basically a full face makeup, like everything you need for a full face, and it was only $10. You can't even get one product for $10 these days, but the dollar store had it. So I'm not going to do too much talking. Let's get right into this video. But before we start, make sure you like my channel and subscribe because I am posting bangers. Okay, before we get started, I'm just going to disclose that um, the foundation colors were very selected. So, for dark skinned girls like moi, they didn't really have colors, but I tried. Um, I got something, and it, I'll show you what it is. But if it's not my skin tone, then I'm just going to have to use my foundation that I use all the time. But... Everything else will be from the dollar store. So let's get right into it. So I have my mirror over here. So this was, is where I'm going to be looking at. But let's, let me show you all the products that I have. I'll show you as I go. So I should have I took everything out of the bag. I'm going to start. I'm going to take everything out the bag first. This, this case, you know, got from the Dollar Tree. It's the bag. And here's my receipt for everything right here. And I wonder if you can see the price. All I want you to see is that right there. And it says $10.98. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. Obviously, because it's a dollar piece. So. Ten items. So they didn't have any primer or anything except like lotions to moisturize my face with. So I'm just going to use my own primer and my own moisture, my own hydration to moisturize my face. So I'm going to be hydrating my face. I'm going to hydrate my face with this Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, this is something that came in my monthly subscription Ipsy box. And so this is what I use to moisturize my face when I do my makeup because it's balm. It like works immediately. Like you can see already I have a glow. Let me turn this off. It just hydrates my skin so well. So that's what I'm going to moisturize my face with. And then I'm going to prime with my uh, NYX primer. Here's everything. Yeah, let me know if y'all have the same type of problems that I do when you have too much makeup accumulated everywhere you start to lose stuff okay so it look like i won't be priming in this video whatever maybe it's a sign that it's not from a dollar store so i shouldn't be using it so we're just gonna pray that my face don't bump up because yes i am that person who does when i do my makeup i'm prone to get bumps so i have to make sure i prom and clean my face extra well I have to make sure I clean my face well. Sorry, I gotta get comfortable. Today is not my day, you guys. Like, ugh. But anyways, back to the subject at hand. So let's get started. And the first thing that we are going to do, first thing that I do is my brows. So let's get started with that. So this is um, 
eyeliner brow pencil from LA Colors. So, and it comes with two in a pack and a, also a sharpener. So, let's see. So, it's an eyeliner and brow pencil. You use it for either or, and it comes really, really sharp. So again, I have my mirror over here. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So I'm going to um, define my brows with this pencil, but I usually fill in with probably like a brown. So in order for me to keep it going with the dollar store, I think I, I bought a powder from there. So I might use the powder to fill in my brows. I don't know yet, but I'll find out once, you know. So let's just get started. And I have like, my eyebrows are basically straight lines. So, but they're really thin, so I don't, I mean, I, I basically have to create a whole brow, really. And I'm so jealous of my boyfriend because he has, like, the perfect brows that anybody would love. Because they're perfectly arched already. They're filled. I don't think you would, I don't think he would probably need is, like, to get them plucked but threaded and probably just some concealer and I'm hating on him for that so like I said I'm just going to uh, define my brows with this pencil first and then I'm going to go in with that powder to fill it in Cause I just don't want my brows to be looking too dark. Y'all, I really hope this work out for the best and then my face just don't completely just go crazy with the breakouts. Cause I don't need that in my life right now. I really don't. So I'm going to fill my brows in with this um, powder, it's pressing powder uh, from LA Colors again. I think that's like maybe a dollar store brand because most of their the makeup that they have there is, called, is from the brand LA Colors. Okay, so this is what the powder looks like. It's not my color at all, so I don't think I'll be finishing my face with that. Matter of fact, now that I look at it, it might be too, it might be too bright for the brows. Oh no. Let's find out. It might be too bright for my little brows. And they come off like highlighter, guys. No, it's like a shimmer highlighter. It's weird. I'm definitely not using it. And it won't even close. Like, it came broken. Whatever. It was a dollar, so who can complain? So, since that didn't work out, I'm going to probably go in with one of these colors for my eyeshadow. This is again from LA Colors and it's um, I guess it's called Rose and it's from LA Colors as well. All these colors are shimmer, but I mean, I guess I gotta make it work. You gotta do what you gotta do when you gotta do it. You feel me? And it comes with this applicator right here. So, I don't know, it's not even really a dark brown on here. The best I can do is probably go in with this color right here, it looked kind of green in the camera, but to me it seems like the, I mean, I could use that one, but that has a lot of shimmer in it, so I'm just going to go in with this one. 
not going to put too much on there. Just put it on there and fill my brows in. And hopefully it works out for the best. I'm not going to put it too much so I can blend well. And it don't come out looking crazy. But like I said, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do it. Period, pool. It's not that bad. <laughs> God. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. We gonna fix it cause that looks so dark. This is so dark. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, who I thought I was when I thought I was gonna be fine with this dollar store makeup. Who did I thought I was? I'm not even ready for the makeup I got, let alone just getting random makeup from the dollar store. I mean, I was in the dollar store for a good 10 minutes, mostly because they didn't have foundations and I was just trying to do the best I could to find the, the perfect shade. But they didn't have the perfect shade. Really, any nothing that they had was perfect, except for things you don't really need, like to have a color for which is this eyeshadow and that's all I got for you I can't even really say nothing too good I ain't even have no lashes so no I'm not using lashes in this video um or mascara so we were, we're just gonna look our eyelids are just gonna look like this I mean I have lashes they were cheap but they're not technically from the dollar store they was from Wish, if you see my last video. If you have it, go check that out. Those lashes was like 99 cent or maybe free. I had to pay for shipping it. So maybe I maybe that's a cheat, you know. So anyways, so I'm trying to just uh, blend out the front of it a little bit to make it look more natural. And don't look at how big and bulky they look right now because the concealer is going to handle it. My, Again, we don't know how this going to turn out. So let's go in with um, concealer. And so I have the concealer from LA Colors as well. It says it's buildable coverage. I'll be the judge of that. I don't think that I'm going to use this concealer for my top and bottom brows. Because when I do my um, makeup on a regular... For my top, I try to use something that's um, concealer that's my color. So I got this contour. So maybe I use contour to um, clean up my brow at the top. So this is the concealer from LA Colors. And it's super like, I don't know. That just looks so grayish. This is the best that they had though. And it's like completely white. So uh, let's see. And this one is and color nude so I don't know if I want to just go straight in and clean or do I want to get brush I'm gonna get a brush I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first put it on the back of my hand and I'm going to get a brush. No, this brush is not from the dollar store. That's not a part of the rules. I make the rules for my figure and my brushes ain't part of it. I did get one brush from the dollar store though. So this is um, a concealer brush from BH Cosmetics that I'm going to be using. So let's try to clean these brows up a little bit and see how this concealer get down, honey. Let's see if it's really going to conceal some poo. They say it's buildable coverage, and right now I need to build because there's like I mean almost not exist. Oh god, when I look, I'm looking in the mirror, and then when I look in the camera, I mean, I see a whole different light of things. Like when I'm looking in the camera right now, it looks like that concealer is not there at all. Now, I look in the camera. It is so white. It's white as heck. So I mean, we just hit clean. That don't really matter. Clean it up. 
clean it and go home. Clean it up and go home. Don't do no extra. You're just a maid. Clean it and go home. You, you know what I was hoping y'all that it was really gonna be something that I mean it's not too late that I can use on a regular I mean cuz people be sleeping on the dollar store just cuz it's cheap don't mean it don't work cuz they sell um stuff like uh wet and wild in there and that's like a familiar product that a lot of people actually use see what I got from wet and wild I got a brush there from there. I got a um a crease uh brush. Whoa. I got a crease brush from there. And it's actually pretty. So and we're gonna put that brush to the test once we get to the shadows. Like I said, clean it up and go, honey. You ain't got to be perfect. Just get the dust off. Okay, so. Oh, I'm not even, y'all. I'm really not finna stress about this. Because, I mean, I'm really not into this concealer at all. But we just gonna move on. So, like I said, I was gonna use this contour stick to clean up my top brow because I mean nothing is my color enough this is not dark enough to be like really a contour but I'm gonna try today so this is the color it is and it's like brighter than my skin tone so it really can't be no contour so we might not have that today but I am gonna use it to clean up the top of these brows so trick do the rocks eyebrow brow to get that you feel me that everybody be looking for, honey. And we gonna clean up right on the top of the brows, just like so. I mean, whoa. Shoot, I might use this. I mean, cause I ain't have to get no type of brush in the product. This is my color. I can just use a stick. And like, you can't even tell a little bit that I, I mean, I, it cleaned them brows up, honey. It sure did. She hired. She hired. The concealer is fired, but she is hired. It might not be used for what it's supposed to be used for. But it's going to get put to use. Period. And we just going to... This is a brush that I stole from a friend a long time ago. Don't talk about me. It happened. When I first started doing my makeup, now think about it. If I wouldn't ever stole that brush, I wouldn't even be here today. You know how you got that friend who she do her makeup, but you trying to start, but you don't know where to start. So you you just start doing stuff. And I mean, I forgot I had it, you know. I ain't doing on purpose. We ain't friends no more. Anyway, so. I don't feel bad. But if you're watching this. Old friend, this is your brush, and I got another one. Okay, let's move on because this video been going on for too long already. So next thing we are going to do is color correct the black under eyes in this this chin area. So they do have color corrected their orange color corrector. This is what it looks like. I mean, this ain't what I'm used to, but we're gonna see what it looks like. And we ain't gonna put this on the back of the hand. We're gonna just go straight in with it. Oh, I feel like this can be a color corrector or concealer because that's bright orange. I hope it works. I really do. So again, the brushes and stuff that I'm not using, I'm gonna be using my regular beauty blenders and stuff because I wasn't thinking about that when I went to the store. I was just thinking about everything, yeah. And we're gonna go down now. I like to do the St. Louis arc, arch, arc. I feel like it's called arc. 
Now he from St. Louis then. Put in the comment section. Is, is it arc or arch? Who cares? Okay. So. I usually spread it out. And then blend. But no. I feel like that's enough. So we can go in and blend that in right there. And y'all, when I say they look gray and just ugly, I mean, no man. But, the smell. Some smell real chemically in here. This concealer. I mean, you got a job to do. So it don't matter what color it is, right? It don't matter what. No matter what color it look like, as long as it do its job, then that's the cover of these black marks on my face. And we gotta just move that around, Louis. Slide that up. To get around that mouth a little bit. That what we doing. Alright, alright. Okay, so that's the color corrector. And usually I go right in with some foundation. So again, they didn't have my color. So I just picked up this Sassy and Chic BB Cream. And it is supposed to be in the color Dark 1. We don't know what that means yet. I'm going to put it side by side by this bright concealer and see what this talking about. I mean, from the looks of it, it look pretty. No ma'am. No ma'am and no sir. No ma'am and no sir, that's definitely not my color, but I'm gonna do a little swatch and see what that tongue bell. I'm gonna do a little, oh no, honey, I'm gonna be clowning. I'm gonna be clowning, oh ma'am. And that's blended, oh hell no. I'm sorry if there's some kids out there, but that need to cuss. So, I'm going to stick to the foundation I use on a regular basis because I can't do it. Can't be out here like this. Ain't got nowhere to go. I'm doing this video strictly for y'all, but still. I can't. Let's take that right off and go in. And I'm going to go in with my usual. I'm going to go in with my usual which is these two right here yes i mix because these two mixed together makes my color period so these um y'all watch my last video so because I'm not gonna be, I'm not going to explain everything that I explained in the last video. But I am going to tell you, I mix my colors. This is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation, and this is the CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Foundation, and that's it. And I'm going to be going in with my foundation brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, and we're just gonna uh, blend it in like that. It don't look like it's my color on my hand, but again, my I mean, my hand is darker than my actual face, so. And so we just gonna paint that picture. We just gonna paint that like a picture, period. And y'all, after this, I'm gonna chill out with the makeup for a little while because I have been getting bumps on my face and I need to just let my skin rejuvenate and you know get back to itself because the weather is changing my skin already like, she ain't okay with the weather change and all of this and the makeup on top of that honey so i'm still gonna be putting out content for right now it ain't gonna be no makeup honey i got some else for y'all though just subscribe because you're gonna see what's coming honey you're gonna see it so, like I said in my last video, I like to focus on my face first and then I'm going to get some more foundation and put it on the areas that I color corrected with. 
I like to focus on one thing at a time. There's nothing wrong with that. So that's why I'm still looking crazy. Well, I don't look that crazy. You feel me? I mean, Dollar Store. You know, somebody go to Dollar Store. I don't know what they social media their website is, but somebody tell them they need to get some makeup for the dark girls. My boyfriend, like, I mean, it really don't matter. It's the Dollar Store, so nobody can complain about what they have in there. I'm like, oh, you right? But then at the same time, I mean, sorry, ma'am. We need options. We need love, too. People got YouTube channels to do it in, and so we don't feel like we're cheating. We need some foundation. Okay, we went in with the foundation over the under eyes. And I'm just gonna spread that bad boy around like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take a beauty blender and just blend, baby, blend. Beat that face, honey. Beat it up, because you cannot be around here clowning, poo. You can't do it, especially when you don't have to. I mean, you can do everything right, but if you blend wrong, then it ain't nothing right. You get it? Do y'all get what I'm saying? And if something I never had a problem with is caking. I mean, I really don't wear makeup for too long anyway, so maybe I just don't let it last long enough, but I'm going to be cakey, you feel me? But if you do be cakey, I don't know what to tell you. I ain't got no solution for it. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. So we blended that in, and then so next, um, I usually go in with um a concealer to brighten up the areas, my darker areas. The orange corrector was to bring it to neutral, to match all over, and then I go in with my concealer to brighten up my T area, my T zone, down my nose, my chin, and my under eyes. I mean, with this, this concealer, I mean, it say it's buildable coverage, so we gonna just see about that. But when I put it on, I mean, it look like you need, you gonna need to build because it really look like it's, it's see-through. It's not thick. It's not a thick consistency where, you know, and you really ain't gonna have no choice but to build with this. But again, it's from the dollar store. You can't do too much complaining. The only thing part, only part of my face I would probably really care about building would be like under my eyes because I just like that part to be bright. So we're just gonna go in with a little bit more. And we're gonna take a different beauty blender, so I won't just be all these different colors. And we just gonna blend that in and see what that look like. Now everything been see this smells so chemically, chemically. I don't know, chemically. I feel like it's the weird. That's what these concealers like. They stink. They smell like disaster and death. Like I just walk into a chemical plant. Oh, that's not, I mean, that's not bad, but it's not good. You you understand what I'm saying? It ain't bad, but it ain't good. Okay, and it just, I mean, this smell, I just can't get over it. It smell like I just sh shouldn't be putting this on my face. That's what it smells like. And I forgot to put it down my nose. And 
and I, it looks like I'm looking up because I have a mirror behind a camera and I have a mirror over here. So, I mean, I see myself at a lot of different angles. Okay. Okay, that wasn't bad as I thought. I'm not gonna build it because I don't wanna, you know, push it. So we just gonna leave it like that. I mean, it wasn't bad. You can see a difference in the camera, but the camera, the camera looks different from what my my eyes see in these mirrors. So we just gonna leave it right there. And I don't know if I should see if this, I see what this contour talking about on the, on my nose. So if it don't work out, if it don't look like how I want it to look, then I'm not even going to worry about it on the rest of my face. I mean, that, that looks like nothing because, I mean, I can use this for foundation. Like, that's literally my skin color. There's no point in that. That looks like my skin tone. So, no, I won't be using this. I won't be... Uh, contouring. They did have bronzers there, but they bronzers had uh, sparkly stuff in it, and I wasn't here for it. So, the next thing that we are going to be doing is the, um, the eyes. Again, this did come with an applicator, so let's just use it. Okay, and the first color I'm going to start off with is probably this color here this is what i'm going to go in with i mean i i did buy um let's see i, I bought a brush from the dollar store so we just gonna use that we're not i mm, use it for the whole eyeshadow so i won't cheat i use this so this is the wet and wild brush it's a crease brush. This is what it looks like. So we're gonna go in with that color. And it looks like nothing. Thinking maybe if we put some water on it. You know they say water brings life to dang near everything. So maybe if we put some water on it, we ain't gonna worry about it. It's just a little, little base color for now. So hopefully anything else I use gets a little have some pop. If not, you know, it's okay too. I mean, it's from the dollar store. You can't do too much complaining. Oh, I forgot to put that powder on. Let's get this powder and see what it looks like. I'm not gonna put this powder all over my face. What I'm going to do is just put it um where I conceal it. So it didn't come with a little um sponge, so I'm just gonna get a sponge out of one of my other powders that I don't use because I usually use the um, beauty blender to put my powders on but today I'm gonna put this powder on this thing. I mean yeah work work to get that powder out. And it's not, I mean, it made my areas brightened up, so I think I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know if I'm gonna brush that off or not. But, so, just back to the shadows now. Yeah. Back to the shadows. Okay, so I'm gonna continue to go in with that color right there. Not too much fallout now that I'm seeing. Now all of these are shimmery colors. I wish it wasn't because I usually like to just use shimmery colors in the inner corner of my eyes. But it's not that big of a shimmer so it's okay. 
Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to go in with this pink color right here, kind of on top of the color that I've already done. Like, just to try to see if it's gonna get brightened up or not. Let's see. I mean, that's a little bit better. This will be better. I'm gonna just try to make everything even and do this side too, but I'm gonna put some water on it to see if they do, if they bring any light to the situation. Cause let's just find out. Let's put some water on it, a little bit of water. A little bit of water ain't never hurt nobody. So, and now let's see if it does anything now. Oh yeah, yep, it definitely brought it to life. So secrets is put some water on that dollar store eyeshadow. Cause look now, oh okay, cause you see that, you see that now. There ain't no secret that it's my shadow up there. It is not no secret. You see that, honey? Wow, I didn't expect that to work. But I did. Okay. So I want to go in with the darker color for my inner co eye color. I mean for my inner eye. So I'm going to go in with the one I was going to use for my brows. But it got shimmer in it. Still water on my brush. So hopefully that pops too. It's like that pink color did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's doing some justice. It's doing some justice, honey. It ain't doing his job to the fullest, but he ain't he he ain't doing so bad that he gotta get fired now. He working just perfect. Not I mean he working just enough not to get fired. So he gonna stay for the day. We'll see how he do tomorrow. So I like to put a dark color in my corners right there and then kind of bring it over just a tad bit to try to get like a, like a blend going. Okay. And then last, and yes, I'm using the same brush for all my shadows. But I'm going to add some more water. No, matter of fact. I'm going to go in with the applicator that came with it for the shimmer that I like to do right here. But we still going to put some water on. And so I'm going to go in with this kind of gold color right there. And let's see how that baby goes. I mean, that ain't bad. That ain't good either, you know? Again, this eyeshadow doing just enough not to get fired. Good, because I don't feel like firing nobody today. I'm not in the mood to fire nobody. Excuse me. And I'm going to use this applicator too to go in its bottom. And I'm going to go in with this pink that I started with from the beginning. And then this dark color right here, also for my bottom. Yeah, I'm putting it right on top of that pink, just to give it a little smoke. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's try to see if we can even wipe some of this powder off. This is my powder brush from BH Cosmetics as well. And no ma'am, that powder is going nowhere. It's stuck. So it wouldn't even wipe off if I wanted to. Okay. So the last thing we're going to go do is the lips. And I have just lip gloss. I don't like lipstick, so I just got a gloss from LA Colors. This is what it looks like. Just a clear gloss with a pink tint. I don't know if it's going to tint on the lips or not. Nope, it's literally like when, in the old school days when we was kids. And you got to mm, smell good though. So it's just a lip gloss. I mean, I usually like a little tint. Not too much. Cause I don't like a gloss girl. I don't really like lipstick. Unless I'm like going somewhere super special and I don't go nowhere. Nowhere. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go in with this. I'm gonna put some eyeliner on just so I don't look so crazy. So I, don't do, I mean, because I don't got no eyeliner, I mean, no lashes or no mascara. So we're going to do, we're going to put something, you know. Something got to go. We're going to make some shake. Okay, this is what it, this is what she looking like, y'all. This is what she looking like, and it's she not that bad. We ain't got no lashes on, but she ain't that bad. Dollar store, I mean, you okay, honey? You is okay. So what y'all think? Is that bad? No, no, she ain't bad at all. Okay, so that is. That's all for this video. Dollar Store wasn't that bad. And I might, it's some stuff that I might use again. But she wasn't that bad. So, again, thank you for watching my videos. And I will be posting some more videos. I don't know, the next one might be a hair video. I don't know, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.